All right, Martin, say hi to Prescott College. Hi, Prescott College. <laughs> it's good to have you here with us at Niegardsbreien. And there's Hulstein, he's our other faculty from Songdog Folkehochschule who's helping us. And there's the Niegardsbreien, which means the Nine Farm Glacier. It's really important for us to um, not just spend a week on a rugged island on the edge of the North Sea that was carved, like the whole landscape's carved by glaciers, and not just um, be traveling on f by ferry up a fjord, the Sonja Fjord that is literally carved by a glacier, but we have to see what this thing is that makes this landscape and um, spend some time understanding the dynamics of how glaciers work. A lot of times these glaciers are used as roadways between valleys. These are like, there could be a village in a valley and then a village in another valley, but those villages are separated by these massive mountains and these glaciers were used as highways between towns. Very similar to a field course, like I went on, I went canoeing on the Rio this past winter block. And that's, I mean, that's, I would say, pretty full on because like, again, you're in a small course in a remote area. And this, in Norway, it's the same, except you're not so much in a remote area, you're just traveling in a country. Norway, as a country, is incredible. I think it's something like 73% of the landscape is um, mountains. There's more nature in Norway than humans. It's like nature is dominant in Norway, which is incredible to me because I love being in a place where every place I look, there's either a waterfall or, or trees or glaciers or the ocean or gorgeous lakes. Everywhere we went, we were interacting with oftentimes Norwegian students at like folk high schools. Uh, or like local subject matter experts in uh, like traditional fishing and sailing methods um, or people who have studied Norwegian folklore, um, glaciologists, adventure education uh, instructors. And then between me and the other students, we studied together constantly on trains, on boats, traveling uh, on buses. It was one of the best experiences of my entire life. Um, I've never gotten to explore another culture so thoroughly, even living so close to Mexico as I have most of my life. It was amazing both educationally and just has an experience on its own, right? 